morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed. It's time to wake up, you sleepy head. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day. And we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best. And you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake. Cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your condos will pay the bills. But you gotta be quick to get those fills. Follow your plan to keep your pockets thick. If that market gaps up, look for Uncle Rick. Small gap down means it's time for a duck. But if it doesn't set up, then we don't give up. Good morning, everybody. We know why we came here today. Now let's get to it. Yeah. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Everybody's favorite day of the week. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Got the S&P down 15, NASDAQ down 61, Russell down 9, Dow down 76, gold unchanged, silver down 1%, notes and bonds a little bit red, 10-year yield up 1%, oil slightly green, natty gas up 4%, grains a little bit mixed, euro in the pound pretty flat. Bitcoin down about 1%. VIX up about 6.77% at the freeze. A little above 15. I will be doing an AM ratio this morning. Potentially a JSP. I got, this is a uh, Portfolio margin trade. I got to exit. And then I also got to exit a 3.5 DTE. Be doing a DKS a little bit later, potentially a quiet lunch if it sets up. Looks like we're going to be about 30 wide for the $4 strikes. A little over two minutes till the bell. Woo, the coffee is extra good this morning. Just extra good. You know, sometimes you just get those, those batches that are just extra tasty. Got a second coaching session with Jared Tindler today. So looking forward to that. So first thing I'll be doing once the market opens is I'll buy my longs for the AM ratio. And I'll turn around and get my OCO filled for the shorts. If JSPs have set up, I will get in some of those. If not, I will go to exit my 3.5 DTE. I've been doing my homework every day. Like a good boy. My dog didn't even eat it. I do need to clean up a few things here this morning after I get off the live stream, though. Thirty seconds. I've already got my long order, my my order in to buy the longs pre market. So those should fill as the market opens. There's the bell. Wow. 
uh, my lungs aren't filling. There we go. It's like 35 wide. The 4420s, yeah, 4420s, 4385 is what I got filled on. The JSPs, I'll wait for it to push above where we opened. It's coming down slightly so far. So I'm going to go close my 35 which will book a profit on that one. And get filled at 1740 on my three five. It's more like 1730, maybe. Yeah, filled at 1730. Posted that in the cha calendar channel. Now I got to close. I'll leave that one on. Sorry, give me just a minute here, trying to close another trade. Two forty, forty three hundred, yeah. All right, let me get this one in. All right, just posted that in the PMM channel for you PMMers.
All right, so got in my AM ratio, filled at 1825. Close my Humpty, close my 3.5. No, uh, no setup for JSP yet. SPX still coming down a bit. SPX down 20 from Friday's close. Quick check on our time flies. Got the Dece one, it's pretty centered. Nov 24. We've adjusted that one twice. Just waiting for some theta decay on that one, and then our no 17 of course we need a we need a big move down for that one to get out of its loss so we'll just continue to hold that one got a hedgehog in gold that's up nicely a couple of hedgehogs in ES that are up got a duck in S&P Got a 6.7 DTE double calendar from Friday that's up a little bit. Well, I'm actually, that's going to bounce around unchanged now. VIX up six and three quarters, but VIX futures up just a little under 2%. Russell, the weakest of the four indices. About a 21 point expected move to start the day. So SPX opened at 4406.66. About 27 and a half to the upside. Eighty five and a half to the downside. All right. All right, got my uh all my goods taken care of. Now we wait. No bounce higher, so no JSPs for me at this point. Once we get a push up above the open, I will be passing on the JSPs.
All right, what else is going on, everyone? Krish is riding around in a driverless car, sounds like. Is that in San Francisco? Where are you at, Krish? Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, Eli, I use the ratios, but you have to buy the longs ahead of time. At least the way I do it. And you can put in, I guess you could do it for the full iron condor, but if you're buying five cent wings, you don't really want the the uh, closing orders on your lungs anyway. Nice, Wuga. Hey, by the way, Wuga, I was I was I saw a post over the weekend of yours on my phone. I didn't have a chance to respond. Um, it was in regards to the daily expected move. Let's see if I can find it here. So I'm getting your post accurate. Mm, let's see where was that. Oh yeah, so you, you you're saying I wonder if there's a source that has historical data for the expected move versus actual. Yeah, I don't I don't know of anything like that. Um, but then you also mentioned, you know, it should move less than the expected move more than fifty percent of the time. So the expected move is essentially the one standard deviation move. So theoretically, price should be moving inside the expected move over sixty eight percent of the time. But we've uh, just anecdotally, I mean, we've certainly certainly seen price move above or below the expected move for the day more often than normal, it seems like. But yeah, that that would be that would be some interesting data to have. So you could look at different days of the week, different, you know, volatility environments. I, I would say, um, well, yeah, I mean, it, it would just, I think it would be good data to have. I just, I don't know of any sources for that. S&P still hovering around down 20. Did you go to the Swifty concert, Anil? Oh, the movie. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, Eli, going back to your question too. So, yeah, I just I put my order in to uh, to buy the longs pre market, so that. You know, as soon as the market opens, they just get filled and then I'm going in and doing my uh, uh, my template 
on the uh, on the shorts. And then, you know, that that's the, you know, this the morning one, that's the that's the the one that's kind of the more problematic because you got to kind of put it in pre-market or you got to get them filled before, you know, you, you're trying to get your AM ratio filled as quickly as possible. But when, in, in, when you're doing it any other time, like quiet lunch or power hour or any of those, it's not a big deal. Cause you got, you got plenty of time to buy your longs and then put your, put your order in. So I think you're probably just talking about the morning one, but yeah, I just, I just put that order in pre-market. Uh, it's not, not too big of an issue. Sometimes I'll put it above, you know, five or 10 cents above where I think it'll get filled. And that way I don't have to mess with canceling, replacing that kind of thing. Although this morning I thought I had it above and I still had to replace it, but it got filled pretty quick. You know, I got in my, yeah, so my longs got filled 35 seconds after the bell and my Shorts got filled 58 seconds after the bell. So that's pretty, pretty quick. I've also got a uh, single put calendar in SPX. That one's pretty centered. Well, my friends, maybe we'll cut this one a little bit short. If anybody has any questions, I do need to do a little prep for my Jared Tendler session. Uh, doesn't look like yeah, JSPs are past the past the time when I would enter those, so I won't be doing any of those. So it's really just waiting for this AM ratio to play out. I'll be doing a DKS here in uh, 45 minutes. Uh, Kelvin, the first one was posted in the Trade Hacker Mindset channel down below the podcast. It's a, it's just a podcast episode. The first one was, uh, I mean, we didn't get too deep in, into anything on the first one. Um, these next couple should be a little, should get even, even deeper and better. Oh, good. Yeah, the, the greed one. I recorded that one last week, just something that was kind of on my mind and I was kind of refreshing up on his book and that one kind of popped out at me. So good. Glad you liked it. Gordon Gecko. <laughs> Great movie. Getting a little tiny bounce in SPX. All right, my friends. Well, I'm going to sign off here.
Hope everybody has a good rest of your day and we will be back for power hour. All right, I'll take care. See you then.